Time to resume the qualifiers here this morning at Woodbine Mohawk Park. Qualifier 10 up next. Pacers are on the track. Andre Goish drives number two, Doc Finelli. It's a field of eight. Number one, Aneto. Better's Delight Colt owned by Sinerco Ventures, trained by Tim Gillespie. Bob McClure drives, $44,000 Harrisburg purchase. Two, Doc Finelli. Badlands Hanover Colt, owned and trained by Kyle Bossens. Andre Goish drives. This was a $14,000 London yearling sale purchase. Three, Bet on a Dream, better than Cheddar Colt, owned by Hut Racing Stable. Blake McIntosh trains. James McDonald drives a $17,000 Harrisburg buy. Number four, Full View, Some Beach Somewhere, Colt, Millar Farms owns, Eric Adams trains, Randy Waples is in the Sulky. This was a $215,000 purchase at the Harrisburg Yearling Sale. Five is Notch 10, Warwee Needy Gelding, James Downer, Carmen Osiello own, Osiello trains, Jonathan Drury drives. Six, Calling All Beaches, Some Beach Somewhere, Colt, owned by Maneri Guerrero, Blue Chip Bloodstock, Holland Racing Stable, and P. B. G. Stables. Dave Maneri trains. Jody Jamison drives a $135,000 Harrisburg purchase. Seven, Alley Wag Hanover. Captain Treacherous Colt, owned by Hanover. Trained by Dan Legacy. Sylvan Filion is in the Sulky, a $95,000 Harrisburg purchase. And eight is journalistic. Some as a sports writer gelding, owned by Blair Corbeil, Yolanda Fellows, and Arpad Zabo. Rob Fellows trains. Louis Waugh drives a $30,000 Lexington Select purchase. Starting gate moves to the top of the stretch. A field of eight lined up for the tenth. Picking up speed, and here they come. And they're off and pacing. Getting out of there well was Doc Finelli at the inside. Out of the center, Notch 10 is going to split rivals and looks to surge up to the early lead. Calling all beaches on the outside. Inside of that one is full view. And then there's Doc Finelli in fourth. Outside, Alleywag Hanover will try to find a spot in front of Bet on a Dream, followed by Journalistic. And Aneto is the trailer. Into the first bend they go, and it's Notch 10 up top here for Drury. Full view is riding in second. And then in third, that is Calling All Beaches, the opening quarter was paced in 28 and 3 fastest opening quarter of the morning to this point and it is notch 10 on top racing second is full view calling all beaches in third then a break of two and a half back to doc finelli in fourth followed then fifth by alley wag hanover two lengths then as they go up the backside to bet on a dream journalistic and netto at the back and we had a second quarter move up to the lead full view circled around notch 10 and it's full view the leader got green on the front just started to pull himself up there had to go to the outside and they got by the half in 59 seconds even so, interesting moment there. Full view is on the outside as Notch 10 got the lead back there as he inherits it when full view got green. He will stay on the outside and now is going to grind away inside third to Calling All Beaches. We got a movement on the outside coming from Alleywag Hanover who's driving up into fourth. Inside fifth to Doc Finelli. On the outside, Bet on a Dream. Then it's Journalistic and a Netto. To three quarters they go and it's a half length advantage here for Notch 10 at three quarters in 127 and three and they'll spin into the lane. Notch 10 at the inside, on the outside full view, trying to gut this one out. And here in the center of the track comes Alley Wag Hanover in behind. That is calling all beaches. Less than an eighth of a mile to go. Notch 10, Alley Wag Hanover calling all beaches in full view. Notch 10 still at the inside. On the outside, Alley Wag Hanover coming to the line. And it's going to be very tight, a tight finish there. It was either Notch 10 at the inside or Alleywag Hanover on the outside. Time of the mile, 155 flat.